again. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? Why is there a dude up here? The Inner Sphere, with Megoplex lot serving the Lyran Commonwealth and an out of the way planet in the periphery, uh, where my heart is. So, on this two. Good morning. Uh, welcome back to uh, WBPL 76. Good morning. We are missing uh, our regularly scheduled programming with Zinthar as work calls. We are missing our regularly scheduled programming with Zinthar as work calls. So I suppose we are going to. I am extremely glad. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are going to. I am extremely glad. Let's see if I can pump my jams up a little bit. I think my mic's. My mic's jacked. I got. Give it a little bit of a shift. A little bit of a bonk. Hopefully you should be able to hear me a bit better. So what we're gonna do today is uh we absolutely stomped our last our last uh campaign. So we gotta kick into a fresh one. Shouldn't be getting an echo. Not for me, anyway. No, I don't... I don't believe you did. I don't believe... I can't remember. Somebody actually did end up sacrificing themselves. Yeah, I apologize. I needed a little bit of that percussive maintenance. You know how it goes. I'm just going to adjust my chat window so I can see it a little bit better. There we go. Cool. Alright, so we're going to do a new story. Uh, all the bones of summer. Mm, I think I did just like a, a basic five chapters last time. Let's go hardcore and actually do story missions that I haven't seen. We'll keep it on Tragic Hero. Um, we're gonna keep it carved in stone. Because, uh... I, I enjoy the consequences of my actions. Uh, so we're gonna move on. And, uh... It's gonna gift us with SRW Addict right off the hop. But... We can straight up pick from Legacy. Ah, uh, maybe you didn't make it, Maze. Either that or you aged out. Name and game is off. I don't know if I could fuck with that personally. And I would have to ask Diggs to 
throw that on. Because Inthar is for sure not kicking around at the moment. And I don't see digs on. I don't know about getting recruited for Xenonauts. I mean... I've got no problems, uh... Throwing in... Oh man, we didn't even keep pin boss either. I don't know if you died of age, you probably aged out. I can't remember, it's been a bit. But after you watch it, check it out. I can't exactly remember. Because I know that we couldn't, like it only gave us so many choices to, to put into the legacy. It's not letting me pick you though. Worst comes to worst, we can rebuild you. Make you stronger. Nineteen's not bad, I suppose. So if we can't... So how much was name in game? Looks like it was 25 hundo. Hmm. I think I will take Can you spam pets? I can't remember. Is anything spammable at the moment? Cuz like I don't want to Cuz if I like call for a discounted thing, right? Because uh, I don't want anybody to pay five bill. It's a lot of goom. Oh, fuck it. How about this? First one to call for push ups or squats. That'll be two characters. The third character will be a pet emote. All right, hidden boss is in. Are the push-ups and squats not there? Good lord. Well, I mean, don't be trying to click on stuff that I can't cash. You've already got your pet in there. So let's build you your mans. Yes, you rock. Let's throw... Hidden boss back on the menu. Yeah, you can be a mage.
Oh, is it really just going to force me into being a warrior for that one? I... Oh, because it's... Oh, no. You can't do this one for that stuff, then. Heck with that. Let's do uh, Legacy 5 chapter, maybe. Let's see if we can pull some better Legacy heroes. Can we actually get more people from the legacy? Oh, there's 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 Maze here. There's the Herald. Yeah. Freaking dance man. No. Yeah. It had to be a mage, I guess. So because it doesn't really matter. Do you want a fresh character? Or do you want your old character back to see how it runs? Right? <laughs> I did have to shuffle around to find him. Alright. The classic hidden boss returns. So, you get two abilities. You can get your Blood Rage back, your Sentinel back, your Untouchable back, or your Broad Swipes back. Now, if I pick Broad Swipes, you can get Broad Swipes plus. It should be pretty rude early game. Double Broad Swipe it. Hell yeah. I'm feeling it. Oh, that'll be disgusting. Right on. So we do have a hunter and a mystic to go. will let me pick anybody though I'll take Von Falkenstein cause he's here allegedly Archer is always ridiculous. He only gets one, so we'll take it. Okay, yeah, that's the right one. But who do we want for a wizard? Take cocaine and rob himself. A swell leader and a mad bastard. You could take the robot mage forty seven. Yeah, and he starts out with the robot shit too. Hell yeah. It's a shame they're a mage. It's really not good for them.
The rub coke never got anywhere. The compulsion's rough. I mean, it gives me so much extra shit. We may as well, because we only have one arm. Mm. I don't know how it's going to work out, though. Maybe heroism would be better. Yeah, let's do it. We'll see how it shakes out anyway. Away we go. The men's are woke to the red song of chaos, voices bent by fear and rage, panic, pain, flames. We're being attacked the day after I was dumped. They would attack a peaceful village, that thing. The disfigured beast bellows, gurgles, and canters about, leaving destruction wherever its hooves fall. Sometimes we only learn to swim when we fall in the water, and sometimes that water's boiling. Grab your weapon, von Falkenstein. Uh, inside, maybe? What danger demands? What do you mean? This is a fresh world. Your legend's from another land, as far as I'm concerned. On a fresh new flat disc world. And you can't shoot nothing. Sup, stab it. Casually. Oh, they're not very helpless. Good thing we got that shield on. Choice is the hammer. Bear strength strap. Oh, hidden boss don't need shit. <laughs> he already hurting people. Battle ends. They did it with danger demanded. Von Falkenstein hidden in 47 are left standing. The fires don't swallow the town. They're fought down to cinders and buried. The folks of Tim Henzer. Thim Henzer? Will be having a thimming time. Ch salvaging whole ruined lanes, squeezing people under crowded roofs. They'll manage much better than they expect, though. 47 kept his cat. Hell yeah. I was hoping it would. Had to try and see if there was still cat percent. Hidden and I agree. We're not going to let it be that. Let it be it. 
You don't let a thief just wander off free, do you? They took something. Our security. I want it back. Everything seems a lot more tenuous than it did yesterday. Yeah. The Gorgons that attacked their homes had mostly moved on by the time any defense was roused. It means they can easily return, them or others. Perhaps more, and fiercer, and with a deadlier will. Let's go be who I have to be, right? Every company here is is called by at least one name. A name spoken or spelled in tradition, and handed along ever after. These heroes we will be known as... We have the Order of the Ox. I don't mind that. That'd be quite the honorable name. Any other ideas that anybody wants to throw out there? Otherwise, I'm gonna go with that. Oh, the black pantalons. Black pantalones? The Gilded Order of the Ox. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> How dare you ape mine? <laughs> So, being we have a couple, a couple of ideas out there, any strong feelings from anyone? <laughs> it's a cooperative. These are our memes. With the order of notation, in order for it to be noted. I mean, I like that, but they won't be doing that. I will be doing that at the end of every sentence if that's what we have to do. I don't know. I do like the black pantalon. I like the order of notation. And I like the order of the ox, whether it be gilded or not. journal I could roll a dice it is the best way to decide we roll the bones and the dice gods will tell us which one we choose so on a d6 one to two will be some form of Order of the Ox, whether it be gilded or not. Uh, two to four, order, or excuse me, three to four, order of notation. And then uh, five and six will be the black pantalones. I'm gonna roll it on the top of my laptop. Um, well, that's a six. For your undead and update your journal. Um, I don't believe that's me. I don't think that's this one. We are the black pantalones. These are the stories of the Black Pantalones. Be remembered. Alright. Yeah. New fuck. 
dismiss. Why won't it let me recruit the dude? Oh, the legacy cost. I need legacy points. All right, let's go kick some ass then. Let's go. All the sweltering stars. Our stars climb high tonight. Oh, are those ones ours? Always climbing around our little stars. It's good omen. You believe in omens, one Falcon State? You start to. Spend enough time alone. You start having conversations with existence. Omens. Signs. Fortune. There's as much out there as you're willing to find. Maybe. Oh god, it's not good. The sky is swirling again. From my own delvings into omen, fortune and all, I see little evidence for... Whoosh. Oh man. The best chance, the best chance for whatever this is, is Von Falkenstein. And I, uh, I think we're gonna go for it. As much as I want to try in the long shot for Hidden Boss. One Falkenstein's the one who watches the stars. It should be him who has the choosy chance. Gazing up a long while, Von Falkenstein sighs to see no familiar shape among sprays and constellations. Nothing he knows a name for. No point to pin a dream on. Stars can be a lot like hill folk, full of unspeakable language. We search and we search for reason and meaning, we ache and wonder. But meanings are often as faint as the grayest glimpse behind the darkness. I guess we failed? Maybe? It is entirely ambiguous. Fire kitty. Um. Fire bow? Fire bow. Sure. Ah, uh, but it's leaf. Salvage it. I could have gone for a fire one, but I think the other one's fine. Falkenstein pop the door. Find out that we're in trouble. Try and stab the dough. Miss. Yeah, we're gonna have Hidden Boss just walk right in there and hit him with the stun. Put it down. That's how you hunt a deer. A horribly mangled, gross deer. Ow, spikes. Boss ain't having any of that shit. Sound is disgusting. And have we got magic health? We do. Morning one shred. Ugh. Whatever. Yep. The horn went off. They want it. They can get it. One more turn and it'll be gone. Costs us nothing to wait. Should probably do that. Um. No. Nope. You can wait. Can you get up and shoot it? Oh, that's unfortunate. 
Well. The boss is just gonna have to go in. There's nothing for it. I believe that's a water break. That's the last of my tea. I'm gonna have to get a fresh water in a minute here. Hidden boss, always reliable. Can't shoot that. I don't care. That's unfortunate. Can I infuse? Maybe be all right. Oh, goodness. Fine. Hidden boss walks in, kills everything it is then. It's like, fuck this. Spear time. He's gotta get in his experience. I'll see myself out. Uh, that's literally the same. It's literally the same. Salvage so, now the sash. Yeah, 47 needs it bad. I mean, he's made of metal and bones. A named place. It may not be tide turning, but something significant happened here today. We should name this place. You mean, Leffy Threshery? Well, sure. That's the overall place, but... About the specific clearing or cliff. You think they have names? A thing you name may tell your story, however quietly and slowly. Anyway, a little commemoration never went never went amiss. <coughs> the top of a nearby mound of stone seemed to fit seemed to fit Hidden's vision. A perfect vessel, strong enough to hold even weighty memories. The Earthen Witness takes its name this day. You have an official process for this? One makes one's own. This place will know. Hidden lit a tiny fire on the crag as the sun stretched out. Building small piles and saying a few words, 47 wondered if he just enjoyed the motions of a ritual a little too much. But when he came back down, something did feel different. The company took a moment to acquaint themselves with Earth and Witness on their way out. Then continued on, hiding small si smiles from Hidden. Throws of extra armor. Oh boy, now we can afford our goober. We're gonna find an item though. And then we're gonna go get our new dude. And then we're gonna go forth. And punish some unfortunately rose and their corruption bullshit. I shouldn't have picked random. Unless it was actually set on these, I can't remember. I just kind of clicked through it. Let's cue the sights for the pauldrons, eh? Yeah, that goes to that goes to hidden rose. The one on the front lines must be armored. Brad Zod. Can pick from Legacy, eh? Well, what do you mean it has to be? What? 
What? We could take a sir W addict. That'd be pretty good. Take the snap chance. That's gross. Cautionary. I should warn you, most people think they know how they'd react to battle, but really, they have no idea. Good thing I'm not most people. Nice, the rock's there. With the fire on top. Let's go figure out what we're in for. The Phantom of the Range. Nighttime in the graying season. The Bear Rock. Papa? Hidden wire, you whispering. I could probably make an omelet, though it's late to ask. Hmm? Hmm? What, remember something embarrassing? No, it's... It's you remember the nights we'd camped along the creek where the flowers grew? I was young. When you weren't busy. Poetry stories. I want to hear a but A bear story? A bear story. It's topical, right? Here we are in the wild pines where a bear you'd suppose might be. It's all you ever asked for when you were little. You should be apologizing to me is what should be happening. Oh no, you have no idea what's going on right now, bud. Would you... You wouldn't want to be a Diggs, would you? Blue bulks are the silent mountains darkly blocking a low fall moon. The fir trees order themselves below, their green clothes blackened with nightly or I, I know, right? I mean, you're a warrior, you're the right fucking class for it. I think it'd be kind of rad, but it'll be up to you. But I guess, let me see then. A bear story. Sage eyes, rogue wills, warrior hides, bears. All right, so once in fall, with the green of things fading, and the evening darkens, and SRW spins his yarn. A bear, all white, because why couldn't it be? The bear had no patience to wait on our belief. Nocturnal things tick and whistle. They scamper unseen as the coals cool to red. Hidden sits up then, guh. They must have slept. Hmm? The sound. Comes the sound of something moving through the camp. Is that... That's... Is that how Balkenstein in 47? Come to find us this late? Peering from the tent, he sees it. A shaggy blue shape. Huge. Long of snout. With frying pan paws. Into a piney clefted ambles. His dad snores are anything but brittle. Crickets quinkle. In the wet glass, where well, the wet grass gleams. Excuse me. You are indeed. Ah, this world, this heartbroken world. You are called to follow. Pausing only to arm himself, he disappears into the dark. The black vegetation seeds seeming to grow with each step, and the night becomes deeper and more hollow. A dome being carved out from below. Ghosts and moonlight, gin and ice. Hidden? Don't be dead. Don't, don't be dead. Be hiding. You hear me, kid? He walks in a veiled place. Am I walking still? Am I even awake? Not a breeze in the branches. Out of place and time, me and this bookshelf, and maybe everything else. I've read them all ten times, they're no help. What? Oh. 
Your belly's like a bell. Let's wad it with some muting. Hmm? What is it you hear? My hunger? You mean you hear it like tolling like a bell? Almost everything about you has a sound. All you need is the proper silence to know your body. Here, come in here. I've got this. Bread of a hundred years. Bread of a... Yes, so tell me, scamperous man of the wasting world, you followed here a great pitiful ghost. I did? I guess I did. The bear. Yeah, why did you do that? Well, it's alright not to know. Don't worry about this. By the way, there's vents up in the rocks above us. Which is evidently my handiwork. I find this all rather arcane right now. That's nice of you to say. She drops the bag by the side of the heatless flames. I was going to warm up the bread, but you forget sometimes how your home feels, or how it is to other folks. My name's... Did I tell you it? It's Dusk. That's what they made it when I was born. Don't know why I'm so surprised. You're nice. Hmm? No, it's... You ever get informed about your life by the fact it's you who's living it? Maybe informed isn't the perfect word. But anyway, I... Oh, that's the dog. I think it's okay. Maybe it's not. Yeah, she's going nuts. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to be right back. up here with us, Wiggle. Sit down, sweetheart. Sit down, Wiggle. Can you stay up here if you like? Eh? I am plus one dog. Hopefully up here with me, she will be alright. And she's gone. Well, the door's open. She can do what she wants. You can stay up there if you like. I set up that part of the bed for you. That's for you. That's Molly's spot. You can't help it, she's right there. She's the goodest dog. She you must pet the goodest dog. Thank you for posthumously redeeming a pet. She did just run off, as is her uh her whimsy. She just, she just goes burr. I can't control her. She'll be up in a bit, and I'll redeem that properly. Anyway, um, but anyway, yeah, I, I followed that bear, that ghost, away from a perfectly safe fire because there was a sadness that struck me, and I knew I was feeling it for a reason, and there was a reason I was feeling it that was me and not my dad. Sadness. There's a lot of sadness. Too much sadness for you to go seeking it, but I understand. I do. My name's Hidden. I should have also said. Hidden. He was a mighty bear, Hidden. The cold fire starts to smell of a red mountain sage. He had names, too. Among the hill painters, he was Emruk, King Blue. Among the wild things, he was known by his herald scent. His brief, careful stride. The hill painters always looked warily for his trail, and wherever they wandered, it was there to find. Can you tell me why you're telling me this? They knew his trail by the bones, the way he'd leave a skeleton agleam. 
and more thorough eater than other bears, Emmerich, our King Baloo. He was born hungry in agony. I now think from his appetite, when I was young, I had this thirst to glimpse him. Why I'm telling you this is that it's history, and you're here, so it's become yours too. Their history and his, mine, and newly yours. You called this bread of a hundred years? Ninety-three years to be precise, but time is nothing here, so it's as if it was baked yesterday. Hidden pulls the bag open. The loaf is there, fresh and soft-looking. And I was good at bread. I really was. Just don't eat it quite yet. Mm hmm? He lived in agony, Imeric. This impervious-looking beast and the pain of hungering drove him to retreat from all he knew, to places he could cool his suffering gums in the blood of unfamiliar things. The bear had this consideration. Bears have a great many considerations. But anyway, what it was, was there came along a woman who felt entitled to a glimpse and encounter a thrill with the great bear called King Blue. And again, this is you. Someday I'll show you what's left of that tower and the wall they built around it. Boy, scuttle up now. As long as there's three of us together, I doubt he'll... <sighs> Both of you up a tree, hurry. Oh boy. That's a big old digs. Turn away, Eric. Great bear, go. Run. The chief lost her life. Her bones were picked clean for her son to find. So it happened like that. Then it's not the bear's death you're mourning. Mourning? I'm not in mourning. I'm dead. But maybe you guessed that much. Mm, and it's fine. I lived nine years longer. I baked bread in a small house. In barren hills where my mother was sick. I saw her waste and die. I tried to forget what happened. But one day, he found my door, the chief's son. He'd honed his art, killed old Emmerich, a mighty deed. Spent a while with me then, remembering. And next, he killed me, that boy. He died bitter and old, uselessly regretting all he'd done. I've come to the Ghostlands then, somehow, is what you're saying. Ghostland sounds a livelier place than this. Hidden climbs after the woman on quiet rocks, up towards a breathless sky past trunks that never bend, leaves never dampened with dew. It's only us. Most of the years, Emmerich grows restlessly this place where he was once king. I also. I overlook an ocean I sometimes feel. I was submerged in it dark, calm roaring dark before I became awake to the great bear's pain and I swam up from death never certainty certainly deciding to I made myself the keeper of this coast where oblivion washes up on a shore blued in life's shadows my little cave down there think of his little lighthouse I'm here to send you back when Emmerich calls you here because of his fathomless hunger and disappointment, that is what he does. To this borderland, he calls night curious men, and I send them home. I always have. But not always will. It seems to me I'm being asked something. It's beautiful here. We go on here patiently. One day, I do believe someone will come. Someone will walk here. Who will know what it is, what he stays for. Emmerich. And go to meet him. 
and send him on. But it doesn't have to be you. I shouldn't say, don't let it be you. If you know no way to love a hopeless tyrant, lovely, lonely, hungry, hateful, if you think you cannot understand him, go back. It's more than okay. For though he is a ghost, he's led you to this place of betweens. He can kill you here, I think, and happily will. Well, normally this would be super spooky and it'd be hard to pick, but then, well, you're gonna go battle that bear. It's strange, I felt that way also. Sometimes I think, what a mystery this world is. What a mystery we all are to each other. And then, other times, other times I think, at that elemental intuitive level. We all know what's true. We just move away from it, pulled by light and noise. And away he goes. Off to beat the absolute fuck out of a bear. Following the curving land, once more hidden spots a shuffling ghost light that hews through the night. More than bones in the earth are remains. All breaths in the wind, and for you, a long sad trail. Only a roving rememberer where once you ruled. The forest is full and empty. That tree, the hill, the plant, the stone, all expected geometries are there. They have the heft of shadows, the scent of silence. Hidden and the bear's great shape. Go on and on, threading through this labyrinth of darks and impressions, until, until at some meaningless point in its course, the tired phantom goes no more, he stills. You and I are bound together, I'm discovering, as I look at you. Snurfle, grumble, grunt, the bear turns with a noise like a small, sweeping wave on a calm coast. One sec. Sorry about that, the recycling guys just showed up. The bear turns, with a noise like a small sweeping wave on a calm coast. Swoosh. You are dead, which is an astonishing thing to tell someone, isn't it? You understand better than I do, maybe, hmm? We'll leave, both of us. We'll leave here, home to the good green world. Leave your long hunger in the dark here. It'll seep into absence. Why he makes this calm, this claim, Hidden's not even sure, but he recognizes the truth as it leaves his mouth. And the phantom stares. Hmm, right? Just stares. What a weird, perfect notion this is. I'll do that for you, you know. You'll know Breeze. The sighing trees, the heat of sun rays, the taste of fish, stares. I'll only insist we use my body, of which I'll be the master, hmm, stares, as if weighing him, as if irresolute. But then, speeding, solidifying, swelling, Emberich, the mightiest bear to ever walk this range, heaves up onto his hind paws. I guess you want to prove these little bones fit? I guess I'll have to. Roar. Now we have to fight the goddamn phantom bear for fucking realsies and hope it doesn't actually waste us. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> and what's his range? 
move through scenery, stomp it flat. Oh yeah, we fight in a proper bear time. Let's hit Guardian and see what happens. Chop, chop. Stop me, clonk. Oh, it's not about that life. Let's swap back to the axe. Sun Cedar Sash, stun chance. Give it the fuck it's doing. Come along with me then. We're close to our line of transfer, I suspect, between here and there. Don't be frightened. As he enters, Hidden knows the feeling of having company in his heart. Hmm? Dusk? You've made a promise. You're taking him with you. What will happen here? I mean, to you. Me? Myself. Me? I'll finally just rest. I'll just rest. Finally. A butt of my life spread is all you need. Make sure you tell me what you think of it before you disappear. Hidden met us in the wild barley. Vanished in the night is what he did. Can I tell you, Dad, about that uh, face paint, right? That'll wash off. It is quite a story. Now let's get our things together. I'm sure the firefight vision will be better. Or firelight vision will be better. Good night, then, and good fortune go with you. To a well-contented end, may it be peaceful and distant. Hell yeah, you got a hardcore transformation. They painted your face. <laughs> Not bad, though. Oh, that does cost legacy points to even do that. Sheesh. Alright. Let's keep carving up these maps. I have no LP, so we gotta take all of that kit. Get patrolling. Distant Thunder? What was the guy's name we're supposed to keep an eye out for? Ilwar, I think? Ilwar. From what I know of forest folk, they normally spread themselves out over the landscape. They find each other when they want to be found. These aren't exactly normal times, though. And his wife seemed concerned, anyway. Of course she is. Old Ilwar seems distracted. Starts spending more and more time out in the ruins, watching the goats, or so he says, I'd be concerned too. Is that the story? Sometimes he wouldn't even come home at night. The lady seems at a loss. The relationship is in some deep weeds in there. How do you get people to tell you these things? My trustworthy face and sensible outfit, how else? Clouds grow like lichen, lichen over the sky. They pick their way through the building bones until a shout rings out from close by. Come on, come on. Up the hill, a man stands against a monument. He gaze, his gaze darts between the sky. Come on. And the shadows of approaching gorgons.
Yeah, let's get around him quickly. And I want this man to suck and die. Unless, of course, he's a bad person. And we'll find that out soon. Sure as hell soon enough. And he's like, oh no. Non plus to be saved. Quote unquote saved. Actually, that might not be a smart idea. You don't have full health. Let's wait till you can actually get a swing in. Oh! That's cool. But, oh! Hmm. So the man takes a hit. And then he manages to stumble behind some ruins, escaping the attention of the monsters. Nice. That'll help. Forty-seven. Give him the hammer. Oh, that hurts. He's gonna be in trouble next turn. Can't okay, discuss it with him. It's not wise. Shooting him's not really wise either. Mm. Is it better with that? It sure is. Forty-seven feels his way back to safety, though there's so much he still has to live for. So much ahead of him, if he can make it through today. Never thought I'd lose an eye, but I guess there's worse things to lose, I guess. Right? Some spicy shenanigans going on. That's not all good here. No, it's okay. We already got good tier one stuff. After patching up the injured SRW addict, turns to the man who is now rubbing his arms and staring at the ground. Ilua? Do I know you? Your wife sends her regards. So what's the story? Watching the goats? The goats do like it here. They climb the ruins. But that's not... When the forest began to get more dangerous, I thought it might be time to use the storm wheel here. This? What is it? I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. The thing's been in 
been on the family land forever. The ant said it was Kyro... Kyorin? We had stories that it could. This is going to sound crazy, but it can give you power. And my family are abysmal storytellers, so you terrible imagination, so I thought maybe they're not just stories. Maybe you could... Maybe I could, you know, protect the goats. And my wife, my gin, if I could get a hold of that power. It takes some research, some old family recipes, and time, lots of time to get the storm over to give up its secrets. I didn't want to tell Jin. Rather, she came up with a story of her own. Better than the story of a goat herd trying to wear a hat two sizes big. It's a shame, though. I needed maybe one more good storm. The clouds look promising today, and I thought I could finish the process before the monsters got here. No such luck. It was silly now, that I've seen what fighting really is. I'm not cut out for it. Glad I never told Jin. So now you're going to count my goats and go home, yeah. Unless you, unless one of you wants it. It's possible. Prevent somebody to get hurt next time. The sky's clearing now, but if you take me up on it, come back sometime. Ask for ill or light. Jin too. We'll feed you, put you up, give you otherworldly powers, make up for what happened here today. Fuck yeah. Fuck me up, fam. Oh no, ghost bears in the regular, that's not good. Grant someone the power of the storm wall. Well, as much as I would love to give 47 the, the blessing of Stormwall, it's probably going to have to be SRW Addict. I think we'll go for that. Get it done. Let's go with everybody else. <sighs> Ill Orange and welcome to Sir W Attic and stuff him stuffed him a full full of bristleberry pie and goat cheese while they waited for a storm to roll in. Alright, this is more like it. Jin get your boots. You stay. Ilwar tinkered with the top of the storm wall. Careful. Good. Wonderful sign. Almost there. You call us when you're ready. Burn. So, what'd you give up? For the whole heroing? You know, like your goats or your spouse or to name examples random. Plausible deniability. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's an SRW out there in another time who maybe got some goats and a wife. Maybe he was even happy. 
I'll never know his story, but this one's mine. SOW's musing are sharply interrupted. Kachow. Ah, uh, there's there's stories where you can find your twin out there. And you can switch places or not. It's interesting. Eeyore. Whoop. It's been a long flower to the bloom, but it's quite pretty now, isn't it? The storm will fill with light or water or both, and it swirls and spills over the sides. I should have asked this before, but am I going to have to fight something? Probably not. What happens now, then? Well, uh, that wasn't in the stories. The ancient voices of the tempering aren't telling you? Or of the Tempest, rather. Oh, gosh. Do we go for the face? The arms? The leg? Yeah. Let's drink it. Tiny flashes within it hold his gaze. Suddenly it's obvious what he must do. <laughs> oh! How, uh... How'd it taste? A little metallic? Not great, honestly. You both okay? You're a wizard, Ari. Get that zip zap on the forehead. It's kind of neat. Assault tall lady rift? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got the full Harry Potter and the wings going on. It'd save me a whole lot of walking if these gargas just came for us, came to us for their thwacking. You can fly, shut up. The boy who lived. Oh, and it is just him, too. <laughs> So I have to defeat all foes with SRW addict with, like, nothing? What? Why is he alone? Yeah. Yeah, I'm do that. Fuck this. Maybe? Yep. Top notch hearing right there. Oh, that's ridiculous. He must have. He's still over here. Oh, we're gonna finish that patrol then. And then we're gonna get him in there. Stay together. The charge is broken up by the terrain. Their misfortune of an ill judged moment. Disorder. All heroes' walling provides no armor this combat. And then more raccoons. So they get more ranged. Oh boy. Yep. Let's get that Voldemort touched forehead. Hmm. 
This looks familiar. I don't think he, he actually might have attacked by himself. I think you're right on that. Because I know I set up an attack with. Well, I assumed it was him and everybody on the same tile going for it. Yeah, it didn't work out that way. It's a lot to do. Great. Now there are two of them. I gotta get him some accuracy buffs or something. Muffled down. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh, wait. Sorry about that. I should probably let you back. I can't help but that's what it was already called. I gotta salvage it.
Use an LP. Fortify this base. Heal up. And now we have one. We can get rid of that. For now. Everything else is gonna get bad. Mad, bad, and dangerous. Grave Pelt Sash. More armor. We'll go skirt this out. Unfortunately, I'm gonna shut her down. I'm falling asleep at the wheel, and I'm making silly decisions that I probably shouldn't be making. So I'm gonna shut her down for the day. Because I can't keep going on just that little amount of sleep that I'm rocking on. Thanks everybody for showing up and hanging out with me. Um, putting up with me stealing Zinthar's time. Now, I'm gonna get out of here a little bit earlier than I told the, the cops. Otherwise, the, they'll come kick me off. I gotta get out of here quick. Otherwise, they'll catch me. So, until next time, take care of yourselves. Be excellent to each other. Adieu. Good night. Bang.